Hi, we're here at Redwood Shores and I'm here with Progress Data RPM. I'm with Abhishek Tandem, your customer success manager at Progress Data RPM and you know basically everything what's happening in <laughs> industrial IoT. So what are the main challenges that you see for manufacturers and industrial IoT companies that you would like to share? Thank you, Ronald. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that we're seeing in the market today is the ability for, for uh, these companies to understand how their machines are behaving. Mm -hmm. uh, what were the failures in the past? When did those failures happen? How did they happen? What caused them? So on and so forth. Uh, despite the fact that they're collecting so much information today, they're not able to utilize that information well enough to explain that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's precisely where AI and ML is playing a big role. Helping them understand what are the patterns that exist, helping them understand failures of the past. That's where AI and ML is really leading them to and Data RPM is leading that effort for them. And can you explain how AI can help with that? So in a little bit more detail? Absolutely. One of the things that AI does fundamentally is learning from patterns of mm -hmm. the past, understanding different layers of relationships between the various data points that we're collecting. Now, here we have a lot of sensor data for these machines. Sensors which are able to explain what's really happening in the physical world with those, with those machines themselves. AI utilizes all of it, runs these, runs these different algorithms, breaks the problem down, understands what normal behavior for the asset mm -hmm. is, and then tries to see at what points did you deviate, did the machine deviate from that particular normal behavior, all being done from an algorithm perspective. Uh, once you have that information, you know what caused the issue. You know what caused the trigger to the failure. Right. You have information well in advance, not at the point of failure, but even 12, 24, or even 36 hours before the failure as to what really caused this. And that's the, that's the entire endeavor. Using all of those patterns to create predictive models which can explain to the end users saying, this is why your machine's gonna fail. These are the sensors that are acting up and this is what your engineer should be doing. And you can take actions to prevent the issue. Absolutely. And that's where the prescriptive part, part of it comes into the picture. You're not just telling you what the issue is, but also what you should do with it. Abhishek, thanks a lot for your insights. Thank you for watching here from Red Shores, from Data RPM. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.